Hey, welcome to CRHS. I'm Mr. Mickens, and I'm going to be your science teacher. The word science comes from a Latin word called scientia, which means knowledge. Therefore, science is knowledge about the natural and social world through observation and experiment. All right. Just clear this so we can go ahead and take a pretest since y'all don't want to listen. Um, can I listen to my music during the test? No, what do you think this is? Well, I noticed that when I listen to classical music, I get higher test scores. Wait, were you just turned off of classical music this whole time? Hmm, let's use that to learn a bit more about science. Science isn't just done by old guys in a lab with weird hair. We all engage in scientific practices all the time. So we aren't taking a test? Developing and using models, using mathematics and computational thinking, constructing explanations and designing solutions, obtaining, evaluating, and communicating information. I mean, it, it was just a yes or no question. I can totally just put my phone up. Asking questions and defining problems, planning and carrying out investigations, analyzing and interpreting data, engaging in argument from evidence. But today we're gonna to focus on the last four. Most people, most people, don't just believe in random things for the fun of it. There's usually something they observed first. They heard something, they saw something, they tasted something, they noticed some sort of effect. This is called an observation, and it tends to spark most investigations or experiments. That observation then sparks a question that we want answered or a problem that we want solved. Does the genre of music affect exam scores? Then they make a guess about what they think the answer or solution to the question may be. Cool, so classical music increases exam scores. Well, I believe that rap music increases exam scores. I think it's best that you do a little research to see if there are others in the world that may have done similar tests to learn some background information on the topic you want to investigate. Because we want the guess that you just made to be educated. Oh, right. I remember that. An educated guess is called a hypothesis. Bingo. What's your hypothesis? Uh... I don't think the genre of music affects your test scores at all. That's known as a null hypothesis. You believe there will be no significant effect. That's dumb. Everyone knows that music increases test scores. Number one, we don't call anything dumb. Number two, everyone does not know that. And number three, science isn't about who's dumb or smart, who's right or wrong. It's all about evidence. So we need to collect some evidence and decide how it supports or does not support our claims. So it's time to investigate. Our investigations need to be controlled. We want to make sure the evidence we collect only deals with the question we are trying to answer. Cool, so I'm gonna get my little brother, my mother, and my big sister, and they're gonna listen to it loud, and then the little brother's gonna listen to it soft because he has a little hearing. About, right, and then give the little brother like an easy spelling test. Your sister's in college, right? So she needs a hard test, and I don't know how smart your mama is, but then we'll time how long it takes for them to finish it. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's only one thing that we need to change. We are just trying to see if the genre of music affects exam scores. So the only thing we should change is just the genre of music. The one variable that the experimenter changes is called the independent variable. I like to think about how independent starts with the letter I. And the independent variable is the factor that I change. Get it? Get it? What are we trying to measure? Um, how long it takes for them to finish the test. Nah, their score on the exam. Right. We're trying to see if exam scores depend on the genre of music. And the variable that you measure is called the dependent variable. We want to grade their exams to see if they depend on music. Should we play this music at different volumes? No, because one may have a greater effect than the other. 
And then we wouldn't know if the genre of music alone caused the increase in exam scores or if it was the volume. Exactly. There are a ton of things that we should make sure are the same. These are called constants. Give me some. What are some things that we should keep the same? Uh, the location that they take the exam, the age of the test takers, the type of exam, uh, the volume of the music. The time of day they take the exam? We could go on and on about constants, but there's also one thing that we also need, a control group. A lot of people confuse constants and controls. Whenever a subject in the experiment receives some sort of treatment, in this case, the genre of music, you need a group that receives no treatment at all so that we can compare. Oh, I got it. We need some students to simply not listen to music at all. So like we can confirm that music actually does affect the exam scores. Can we go ahead and take that test? I really didn't know you'd be taking this long. So how are we gonna do this? Um, you just pass out the test. We take our phones out and look up the answers. How are we going to do this experiment? <sighs> we'll get our test takers, play a genre of music throughout their entire exam, grade their exams, and then repeat with another genre and end with the control group. Correct. This is called a procedure, and other experimenters should be able to replicate our results with the steps that you provided. So, let's go ahead and do this. Welcome back. Why are we in the same clothes? Never mind. Let's look at the data that you collected. Uh, let's organize the data because it's, it's, it's really messy. The best ways to streamline and view data tends to be through a chart, a graph, or a table. No one wants to read your findings in the margins of a messy lab notebook. Oh, I understand. Because I can easily see the trends on this graph much better than that messy notebook. Can y'all leave my notebook alone? That's right, Abeni. You can analyze and interpret Matt's data much easier here. In conclusion, what does this data show us? That Matt is smarter than you because students scored higher while listening to classical music. I mean, the average score was only one point lower for rap music, though. Right. Again, remember, science is not about right or wrong or dumb or smart. Just about the evidence gathered and how it supports or doesn't support our claims. The evidence here shows that the genre of music does not have any significant effect on exam scores. Our data shows that the average score was about the same across all genres of music. Uh, well, I still think classical music is the best. And that's fine. Science is not perfect. However, this method always provides the perfect opportunity to think about what caused this outcome. What could have been done differently? Or what should we do next time? What are some issues you found while doing this experiment? Um, well, when we got the test takers, we don't really know their academic background. So, like, they could have had language barriers, or they could have all been geniuses, and maybe they've already seen the material in the exam, and maybe that's why they scored so high. Um, that's definitely something to think about. Uh, I would carry this out maybe four more times, because I only did it once, uh, to make sure that I get similar results. It could be different the next time. Excellent. Do you want to present this to the principal? Absolutely not. I really just thought you were going to do this to teach a lesson and we were going to take a test. One of the most important parts of the scientific process is communicating your results so that peers, teachers, and other professionals may have valuable feedback and insight into your topic. Better yet, if I repeat this and I get favorable results, who knows? Maybe you'll change some rules around here. Maybe you'll be able to listen to music when you take exams. Science is what people turn to to help justify or prove what they believe, and your findings could very well be the spark for important legislation, new inventions, breakthrough academic techniques, and much more. How exciting is that? Oh, I'm in the job, goodness.